All righty, great to have you with us. Uh, breakfast on a Monday morning. Well, what a staggering weekend it was. If you're interested in politics, then this was a weekend that you will not forget in a hurry. Let's have a look at exactly what happened to Labour in Queensland. This is how it started before Saturday, and that's how Queensland looked after Saturday. That is what you call in politics a real hiding. Bruce Hawker, political strategist and campaign advisor to the ALP, ALP joins us now. Bruce, good morning. Paul. You had a real hiding on the weekend, didn't you? It was a tough one. I spent most of yesterday in a fetal position, but feeling a bit better now. Well, I was because you must feel, I mean, those those particularly like you, strongly connected with Labour in that area, mm. must feel shell-shocked. Terrible. And uh, look, we were expecting a very bad result for some time. Our own research was telling us that. The published polling was telling us that. But nothing really prepares you for a defeat of that size. It's unprecedented in Australian political history. Yeah. We'll talk about how you might go about the staggering task of rebuilding in a moment. But from a federal point of view, the message that this sends to Julia Gillard? Well, you have to make sure you maintain uh, a trust with the electorate. If you lose that, as I think Anna Blyde did in 2009 when she sold off mm -hmm. uh, uh, rail assets, then it becomes very hard to reconnect with the electorate. In a sense, though, that's mirrored with Julia Gillard and carbon tax. Isn't this is it? where she's got to really work hard. The big challenge for Julia Gillard is going to be to sell that compensation package. If she can do that, she can come back. But I think it's going to be very hard in Queensland because, in uh, many ways, they've been uh, given a leader in Canberra who they didn't want in mm -hmm. Queensland. They wanted Kevin Rudd, but the caucus in Canberra obviously decided decided that they were going to have Julia Gillard, and that uh, is a, an added challenge for Labor. If all else remains the same at the federal elections, the thrashing that Labor have just had in Queensland could still lose them the, the government. Absolutely. I mean, we lost uh, a huge number of seats in Queensland in 2010 after winning a lot of seats there. Uh, we're on a knife edge now. Uh, we have to be working very, very hard in Queensland to re-establish that connection. You know, Labor across the country is doing it tough, mm -hmm. in large part at a state level. That's because we had so much success for so many years, starting in 1995 with Bob Carr's election, about 10, 15 years of very successful Labor governments, that cycle's coming to an end and now. And there is that argument, isn't there, that it's very hard to shout against an outgoing tide. If the tide's going out for your government, it's very hard to, to make it come back in again. It's very hard. Very Let's hard. talk about Anna Bly. Uh, she must shoulder a lot of the blame for this. I don't want to talk about the campaign because we can all see where it went hopelessly mm. wrong. She stood down as leader immediately, the right thing to do. Mm. How about, though, resigning her seat immediately? Was that a clever move because that could be another seat, in fact probably will be another seat that Labor loses. I think it was a tough decision for Anna. I don't think she took it lightly. I spoke to her yesterday and I think she felt that, you know, having shouldered such a heavy load, having been rejected so comprehensively by the Queensland public, mm. it was the appropriate thing for her to do. But there will be a by-election. The Liberals are going to contest it and we're going to have to be on our mettle to make sure that we can well, hold given that the way, seat. Given the way things went, you'd have to say you're going to lose it. Well, there's a very fair chance of that. On the other hand, perhaps the electorate has got uh, you know, off their liver now, and uh, they, they will say, "Look, I think Labor has uh, you know, learnt the lesson. We've heard, mm. uh, they've heard us, um, and maybe we'll vote a Labor right. person back in there." We so, don't who do, well, let's talk about that Labor person. Who might that be? Do you get someone who's just dismally failed in in another seat and reward them with another go, or do you put Kevin Rudd in? Well, I don't think you put Kevin Rudd in there. I don't think he's got any interest in doing that. And, of course, that would spark a by-election in his own seat mm. and qu quite possibly the loss of the, the loss federal of that government. seat as well. Yeah. Yeah. So I, it'll be a local. Uh, the front-runner is probably uh, Jackie Trad, who's a, an official uh, in uh, the Labor Party headquarters there. Very accomplished person. Uh, but there could be others. Th there is speculation. Obviously, you would have been expecting this, that this could, this could lead to another leadership challenge federally with Kevin Rudd against Julia Gillard. Any chance of that, do you think? No, Rudd's make it quite clear that he's But people will be saying now, look, there is no chance, Julia, given this, this experiment in the, the Queensland Petri dish, there is no chance Julia can win... Well, I don't federally. think anyone should un underestimate the size of the challenge for federal Labor, mm. but it'll be up to them to decide how they move from here on in. Uh, Rudd's made it clear he's had his challenge. He's not going to challenge again. Right. Uh, finally, Bruce, how extraordinary was this win for Campbell Newman? He was not even a member of Parliament. Mm. T truly extraordinary. Uh, remarkable. And, uh, and you've got to give credit where credit's due. He uh, broke the mould as far as being an out-of-parliament mm. opposition leader in uh, Queensland's concerned. And I think Queensland Labor's going to have to do some real interesting things now to rebuild itself, including perhaps uh, introducing direct elections of leaderships uh, of the leader, uh, maybe um, 
having the rank and file much more actively involved, perhaps even having primary style elections to get people into the party. I mean, that's, and and that's one of the worries. One of the worries is this is a, this is a usual time in, in a cycle where you shed people like crazy. That's right. So you've got to hold on to them and bring more people in. Exactly right. Okay. All right, Bruce, thank you very much for joining us. Um,